First thing I want to say is, Jayla, you need to go get that bike checked out. It looked real infected and nasty on that walk. I just wanted to talk that off. And Meatball funny as hell trying to fight the girl without knowing the real story. She's talking about some, okay, let me listen to the story first. The story still ain't made sense. And we all know because we heard Jayla on a podcast outside of Baddies Caribbean that all of that was fake. So the feelings that Biggie was feeling about feeling being set up by Natalie and Jayla was true. Which is why she tried to... She kept switching it, right? And then it came from, you said you was going to smack me till you scratch me. There's no rules to fight, so if she scratched you, I don't get that. That's how you know it was fake, but let's move on. Tink calling Diamond a monkey after she bleached her skin is diabolical work. I need her to work on that. And where's Dr. Umar when you need him, child? Aubrey telling Brie that if her man was really a millionaire, you would not be here is sending me. But then she went on to say she make money too. So are you not a millionaire as well? Because you're on the show as well. But I ain't gonna lie, that was funny. And they need to bring her back. They need to bring her back. And Natalie, she knows she be creating unnecessary beauty. This is her favorite line. I want us to have fun. We supposed to be making money. We, we on a good trip. We on the island. But do anybody got anything need to get off their chest? Like, girl, if they had anything to get off their chest, they would let you know. I don't think any of these women are scared to say that. Like, that's how you know she's just messy. And Paul Dia, I know you're from the islands, but girl, you need to sit your island ass down. You keep getting beat up. You keep getting beat up. But hey, she keep going up there fighting. So hey, what can you do? And I'm so happy Brie let that stuff go with Sapphire because, girl, her Mariah is cool. So there's no reason for you to be beefing with her. Aubrey fake fighting Natalie was hilarious. And I like how Natalie's talking about some, girl, do you want damage? Because was that a reference to Danny Kane or was I looking too deep? And I don't think Natalie and Tommy would ever be cool. I think that ship has sailed. And that's okay. I don't think they need to be close to each other or friends at this point. And it's Natalie for me contradicting herself in 30 seconds talking about I don't want y'all feel like y'all got to pick and choose. But in the same sentence, literally in the same sentence she said, but I don't like the fact how they went to go see Natalie because, I mean, went to go see Tommy because she's an aunt. That's picking and choosing. You want them to pick you, right? And that's why you were mad that they went with Tommy. And the fact that this is turning into basketball-wise in the sense of if you're not cool with me and you're not trying to you know, deride me, you can't be on the show anymore. That's whack. And to Siki, as much as I like to Siki, and I know she got hands, you fighting her because she was standing next to your man, I'm confused. I'm thoroughly confused. Why is that a problem, right? If that's your man and you secure your husband, why would that be an issue, right? He should be able to check people. You shouldn't even have to worry about that. But that's just me. And he definitely wouldn't have you out here fighting. That's crazy. And Natalie thought she was going to do her big one with Biggie, but Biggie is not one of them. She's going to speak up for herself. She's going to take forever. You know, it's going to take a while to get to the point, but she's going to speak up for herself. And it's funny how she didn't have that same energy for Tashiki, baby. Her tone changed completely. And at this point, Callie's just happy to be there. She's just happy to be there. She don't care what's going on. And Jayla being mad at Biggie because she scratched her face. I think I spoke on that earlier, girl. Bye. There's no rule to fight. And that just further lets me know that y'all played the in that girl face. And one thing I did not like about this episode was them going to a underprivileged spot and throwing money. I don't think that's cute. I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's cool. Like, if y'all was going to donate some money to make sure everybody got some type of resource, that's cool. But to be in a crowd knowing that people going to start tumbling over each other, that just look nasty. Child, Asian dog coming in next. It's too many. It's too many girls. I'll see y'all next week.